Welcome to Pre-Math. In this video, we have got this uh, isosceles uh, triangle uh, ABC along with this uh, segment uh, AD as you can see in this given diagram such that uh, this segment uh, BD is uh, 12 units whereas uh, this segment uh, CD is 20 units and moreover uh, this angle uh, CAD is a 90 degree angle and furthermore uh, this side AB equal to this side uh, AC and now our task is uh, to calculate the area of this uh, green shaded triangle uh, ABD please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe and please keep in mind that this figure may not be 100% true to the scale let's go ahead and get started and here's our very first step we know that this uh, segment length uh, is uh, 12 and this segment length uh, is uh, 20 so therefore uh, this whole uh, side BC length uh, has got to be 12 plus 20 is going to give us uh, 32 units and now since our task is uh, to calculate the area of this uh, green shaded uh, triangle and now let's recall the area of a triangle formula area is always equal to a half times uh, the base uh, times the height of the triangle and now we know the base uh, of this uh, green shaded triangle is uh, 12 so therefore now our task is to find the height uh, of this uh, triangle so therefore we have dropped uh, this perpendicular AE on this uh, side uh, BC and I'm going to label this perpendicular as our height uh, lowercase h and now our task is to find the value of lowercase h and now let's make an observation we can see that this uh, triangle ABC is our isosceles triangle since uh, this side length uh, equal to this side length and we also know that this uh, AE is the perpendicular so therefore this perpendicular AE is going to bisect uh, this uh, BC into two equal parts in other words uh, this segment uh, BE is going to be equal to this segment uh, EC as you can see in this given equation and now we know that this uh, whole BC length uh, is uh, 32 so therefore uh, this uh, BE length uh, has got to be half of that one 16 and likewise uh, EC length is going to be 16 as well and now we know that uh, this uh, BD segment is uh, 12 so therefore uh, this uh, remaining segment uh, DE length has got to be 16 minus 12 is going to give us uh, 4 units so thus we can see that our this uh, DE segment length turns out to be 4 units and this uh, segment uh, CE length uh, is 16 and now let's assume that alpha and beta are our two complementary angles in other words the sum of these two angles alpha plus beta must be equal to 90 degrees and now I'm going to assume that this uh, angle is our angle uh, alpha we know this is our 90 degree angle so therefore uh, this angle has got to be our angle beta and now let's focus on this uh, tiny right triangle AED we know this angle is uh, alpha this angle is 90 degrees so therefore uh, this angle has got to be our angle beta and finally in this triangle uh, AEC this angle is beta this angle is a uh, 90 degrees so therefore uh, this angle has got to be our angle alpha so therefore we conclude that these two right triangles the triangle AED and the other right triangle AEC are our similar triangles according to angle angle similarity theorem and since uh, these uh, two triangles are similar so therefore we are going to have a proportion in other words the ratio of these uh, side lengths AE and DE is going to be equal to the ratio of the side lengths uh, CE and AE and now let's focus on this uh, AE side length we know this AE side length is being represented by lowercase h so I'm going to replace that one with lowercase h 
Likewise, uh, this A E is going to be lowercase h as well. And now let's focus on this uh, D E segment length. We know our D E segment length is 4. So I'm going to replace that one with 4 over here. And finally, this uh, C E segment length uh, is 16. So I'm going to substitute 16 over here. So therefore, we could write uh, h divided by 4 is going to be equal to 16 divided by h. And now we are going to cross multiply. So therefore, we are going to have uh, h square equals to 64. And now I'm going to undo this square by taking a square root on both uh, sides. And here we can see this uh, square and square root is gone. So therefore, our height uh, h turns out to be positive 8 units. So thus our lowercase h height value turns out to be 8 units. And here's our final step. Now we are going to calculate the area of this uh, green shaded triangle uh, ABD. And now let's recall the area of a triangle formula once again. Area equals to a half times uh, base times the height of the triangle. And here the base of this uh, green shaded triangle is uh, 12 units. Whereas the height uh, of this uh, triangle is uh, 8 units. So therefore the area of this uh, green shaded triangle uh, ABD is going to be a half times the base is uh, 12 times the height uh, is 8. And now if we simplify the right hand side that is going to give us uh, 40 8 uh, square uh, units uh, the area of this green shaded triangle ABD. So thus after all the calculations and manipulations the area of this green shaded triangle uh, ABD turns out to be 48 uh, square units. In other words the area of this uh, green shaded triangle is going to be 48 uh, square units and that's our final answer. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.